The candidate who can satisfy the requirements for the award of a certificate of accountability. And congratulations to all of you involved, and you have known the secrets to victory. I feel so proud because if not because of power, I would have not achieved this, or I would have not been who I am. Because even after finishing my course, we did internship for two months. After intern, I stayed on for one month only. I got a job. And right now I'm working. The place is far in Amuda district, but I'm working. And you're representing the rest of the, the other students who are here. And we appreciate you for completing the program successfully and being disciplined. And you have successfully completed your, your national certificate. Thank you very much. Yes. Disciplined and successfully completing the program. Uh, the Father got me after I had finished my senior six. I did PEM. And of course by then, when COVID had just started, I had no tuition to join. So the program came in where it was only for certificate. So I had to enroll for plumbing. So that like maybe in case I get some cash, some tuition, I can now join. Mm. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm really so glad because really they have caused a positive impact on me. I really appreciate so much the, the effort because if it was not them, I would not be here today. I really appreciate so much for that. Always of upgrading because I have to go for civil engineering. That's my target and that's my dream. So I have to make sure I fulfill my dream as a civil engineer. Yeah. 75 mm -hmm. and these are just some of the calculations as if 34.4% are young girls. I want to take this great opportunity to thank more especially the ladies who are doing these courses. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the courses in technical are not only for the boys, are not only for the men, they are also for the female, there is a stereotyping that courses in technical are for the boys. That is not true. I want to appeal more especially to parents. Parents, do not deprive the parents of these younger girls to come in vocational institutions. Bring them as equally as you bring the boys. I want to thank you. Next year as we graduate, I would like to see 50 or even above. Yes, my name is uh, Aida Pasi, I'm Acting Executive Director for Uganda. And today we are celebrating the graduation of 20 students who have um, graduated with certificates in various uh, vocational schools, uh, skills from the Nile Vocational Institute. Uh, we have uh, 15 girls and uh, five boys and uh, 
really the percentages we ordinarily work with in our scholarship programs are 70 girls and 30 percent boys. So today we have a total of 20 with that distribution of 15 girls and 5 boys. And uh, we are, we are believe, most of them are currently employed. Out of the 2018, are placed in various uh, companies and industries, while a few are self-employed. Yes. Uh, bright but needed children with our main focus on girls, as we have talked about the percentages. So we look for the most vulnerable children in the community who have done well, but are unable to progress to the next level of education. Yes. Kala is proud to have us sponsored over 10,000 children over the 26 year period that we have been in this space. And uh, at various levels, uh, tertiary, <laughs> university, etc., etc., and uh, we, we can say that our students are, are very successful in every sector. You will find a Fawe Uganda sponsored student. They are spread out across this nation. Some are entrepreneurs. Others are in formal employment, being employed in big companies. So we are proud to say that we have made a significant contribution to the development of this country. Okay. So we can start. My name is Edison Ngerep. I work as director of Nile Vocational Institute. And I'm glad to be partnering with FAWE Uganda. I enjoyed FAWE Uganda's aim in supporting the vulnerable, economically vulnerable youth, boys and girls, who are academically able. And I think that is really a good way to go in giving these young people hope. And uh, given the experiences that I have had from Fawe, the testimonies that I've received from the, the youth that they have supported, they are so touching. They are so touching, that's one thing that has motivated me to begin supporting FAWE. But as a partner of FAWE, I would like to thank FAWE, first of all, for identifying Nile Vocational Institute as one of the institutions they can partner with. And the fact that today we are celebrating the achievements of, uh, of uh, this youth studies, it is my joy, it is my pleasure to notice that a big number of these graduates are already working.